When I heard the sentence yesterday on the news, I was immediately disappointed, but I wasn't at all surprised because so often we hear, we hear this, we're, we're all kind of focused in on it because it's a high profile case, but so often we hear a man in, you know, pick a county, Dublin, Wexford, whatever, has been sentenced to three and a half years for, and, and it's one of these crimes. And, you know, we hear this the whole time. So what this case has done, it's highlighted that the sentences are just too lenient for these crimes. Um, something needs to be done about that. And if, if people start to kind of kick up a bit about it, maybe that might change. Okay. Brian, can I ask you, I, I got the impression there when you were talking, yes. you're still living with the damage that the abuse did. Does this kind of conversation and all this stuff going on, does this bring you back? This the last few days, and I, I'm thinking particularly of people who have not been able to face the fact that they have been abused. This kind of conversation is absolutely destroying them. Mm. And, 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 and even those of us who have tried to face it in life, this has been a really, really tough week. Okay. Be because it brings the whole abuse back and hateful language and people screaming at each other, screaming, shouting, and they're all talking as if it's about something. And they're saying, look, that's, it's not your... You're talking about something that you don't know about. And only those who have suffered abuse trying to deal with it, just being destroyed by it, knows what it's about. Okay. Okay.